Hey everyone, David here. Um, today I went to Jake's Flea Market and I found some good train bargains. So I'm going to show you those. And also I got two good uh, train tips. Uh, Sunday, October 11th, uh, Jake's Flea Market is going to have a uh, train show. So yeah, Jake's Flea Market up there on Route 100 in Gilbertsville. And also, I heard the weekend after that, I think it's October 17th, um, is supposed to be a train show at Kutztown. So, that's fantastic. I'm excited for that. So, I got some cool stuff at the uh, flea market. So, let me show you what I got. So, what does a briefcase have to do with trains? Well, I fixed the train for a friend of mine and I need to send it back to him and I'm not going to send it back to him in a cardboard box because I don't want to get it broken again and have him send it back to me again to be repaired so I got this briefcase for two bucks and I'm going to put partitions in it and send him his train back so I do have a couple of things in here that I'm going to show you so I got a couple DVDs here for a buck a piece still a good deal um, Couples Retreat, one of my favorites. Always a good movie. Wayne's World. Uh, for some younger folks, you may have no idea what that is, but if you haven't seen it, you got to see it. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Hey, it has to do with uh, trains, right? It's got trains in it, so that's a good movie for a buck. Okay, enough of the DVDs. So I got this box car. For three bucks. I have a friend in Canada that would love to have this. So I'm going to send that to him. Don't tell anybody, okay? Or, or don't give away the secret, alright? If he watches the video, he's going to know it's coming, but I have some more things that I got to send to him. So it might take a while before I actually get this off to him. And you know who it is. Alright. So there you go. Um, one guy, really cool. He had. Uh, these little people here. Let's see if I can open this without them, without them spilling. There we go. I thought they were golfing, and then after I opened the package, realized that these are guys that are working at a gas station. This guy on the left got a tire. Guy, uh, second one's drinking a coke. Got a guy with a flag. A guy with some wrenches. So there's some guys working on cars there. So that was pretty cool for a dollar. I guess this is what started it off here. This little house. H.O. house. Yeah, I gotta glue the flowers back on. They came off. Um, for a dollar. I said, what do you got there? He says, I don't know. You want it for a dollar? I said, well, I'm gonna have to buy it if it's a dollar. Pretty cool. Um, a Humvee. This is going to go on a uh, flat car, a Lionel flat car for a friend of mine. Uh, I just thought it looked cool. He had two dollars on it. I said, how about a dollar? He said, oh, okay, sure. And check it out. It's got a winch on it. Okay, so that was a dollar. Uh, the guy that sold me the HO house there also sold me this. This is Plasticville uh, O-Gage there, his and hers. How about that, huh? Perfect. Dollar. And then he said, here, take this guy here. A little soldier or something there. So he gave that guy to me. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I'll find a place for him. Uh, this is actually the first thing that I bought. A Union Pacific uh, engine here. It says on the bottom, uh, made in Yugoslavia. So that makes me think that it's uh, lifelike. Uh, it kind of looks like a Bachman, but um, I guess it's lifelike. Well, we'll take it apart and see. Um, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. It is. Uh, th this part of the railing is bent. Okay, so i got to fix the railing a little bit. But uh, it looks like it's pretty good for five bucks. We'll see how that works out. So i got this briefcase that I'm going to use to ship a train in. And let's get on to the other stuff. So, 
So there's a nice guy named Byron who had the Plasticville stuff. And um, he had some prices on it. He said, well, this is a starting price. I'm flexible on that. So I walked around. I said, you know what? I'll, I'll come back because I didn't want to carry everything with me. And I figured I'd get it on the way out. So... Um, I got a Plasticville Diner, a nice Cape Cod house, and a police station. Now the police station, uh, this piece here is not correct, and it, the chimney cap is not correct, but I can 3D print replacements for those, no big deal. And we have the Plasticville television station. Let's see, that goes in here. And that goes on there. And there is the radio tower. Like that. So, uh, I bought, I said, I'll give you. $18 for this, this, and this. He said, okay, that sounds fine. So I gave him a 20 and he said, how about if you buy this for two bucks? I said, well, you're making me buy it. He says, I'm not making you buy it. I said, well, if it's two bucks, you're making me buy it. So basically, I got these four buildings here for 20 bucks, about five bucks a piece. I consider that a great deal. Okay. The final thing that I bought here was a Lionel Gateman. He had 14 bucks on it. I came back, I said, how about 12? He said, yeah, 12 is good. So, uh, guy Frank. Yeah, nice guy. So I got that for 12 bucks. I always wanted one of those. So I'm not sure what this part does. We'll figure this out. But we got the little we got the little gateman in there. Comes out for 12 bucks. Always wanted one of those. Clean it up a little bit. We're in good shape. Okay, after reading some instructions, uh, this goes underneath the uh, track, and when the train comes by, it makes contact to make the uh, gate man operate. So uh, I'll have to mess with this and get that hooked up, and uh, hopefully have that in action soon. So. We did good at a flea market for trains. So today's damage on trains was $46 total. And I add in uh, the briefcase, the DVDs, I bought a birdhouse for my wife, I bought a hammer, that was $37. So in the end I think I spent $83. I think that's what I spent. So thanks for watching. Again. Don't tell this guy about this one. It'll be a surprise when it ends up in his mail. And um, you can always find good bargains at flea markets. Alright, take care. Thanks for watching.